Hi, I'm Julia Stumpf, a librarian at Ruth Lilly Medical Library. This is the fourth video in our Evidence-Based Medicine Diagnosis Series. As you will recall from the third video in this series, diagnostic test accuracy is reported by using diagnostic test measures. In this video, we will focus on sensitivity and specificity. Sensitivity measures how often a test correctly generates a positive result for people who do have the condition that's being tested for. Specificity measures a test's ability to correctly generate a negative result for people who don't have the condition that's being tested for. In order to explain the formulas used to calculate diagnostic test accuracy measures, we need to understand the 2 by 2 table used in diagnostic studies. You see the gold standard, or reference standard, test results are on the top of the table. In this case, the gold standard results are considered to be truth. The experimental test results are on the left-hand side of the 2 by 2 table. So when looking at data in this table, you see that the results located in the upper left-hand box are the number of experimental tests that correctly identified a positive test. They are the true positive tests. The data in the upper right-hand box represent the number of experimental tests that incorrectly identified a positive test. In other words, the reference standard found they were negative, but the experimental test found they were positive. They are the false positive tests. The data in the lower left-hand box are the number of tests identified as positive by the reference or gold standard, but identified as negative by the experimental test. They are the false negative tests. Lastly, in the lower right-hand box, you will find the number of tests identified as negative by both the reference test and the experimental test. They are the true negative tests. Sensitivity, or SN, equals true positives over true positives plus false negatives. In essence, this is the percentage of people who were correctly identified as having the outcome of interest by the experimental test out of all the people who have the outcome of interest. So if a test is 85% sensitive, it means that the test correctly identifies a positive test for 85% of the people who have the disease. Specificity, or SP, equals true negatives over false positives plus true negatives. And this is the percentage of people correctly identified as not having the outcome of interest by the experimental test out of all of the people who don't have the outcome of interest. Likewise, if a test is 90% specific, it means that the test correctly identifies a negative test for 90% of the people who do not have the disease. To help you remember, on a 2x2 two two table with the gold standard at the top and the experimental test on the left side, the numbers used to calculate sensitivity and specificity are vertical, with sensitivity on the left column and specificity on the right column. Another way to help remember and understand the difference between sensitivity and specificity is to use the mnemonic SPIN and SNOUT. SPIN stands for a specific test when positive rules a condition in. An example of a specific test is the COVID-19 at-home antigen tests. Some COVID-19 antigen tests have been found to be 98.9% .9 specific among symptomatic people. So when symptomatic people test positive using one of these antigen tests, you can be pretty certain they have COVID. SNOUT stands for a sensitive test when negative rules a condition out. An example of a sensitive test is the COVID-19 PCR test. Some COVID-19 PCR tests have been found to be around 97% sensitive. So when people test negative after being tested for COVID using one of these PCR tests, you can be pretty certain they do not have COVID. For a quick knowledge check, try to remember which numbers in a 2x2 two two table are used to calculate sensitivity and which numbers are used to calculate specificity. I will pause the video for three seconds. Sensitivity and specificity calculations use numbers that are vertical on the 2x2 two two table. Sensitivity is on the left and specificity is on the right. Also, you can remember the significance of specificity and sensitivity using the mnemonic spin and snout.